Metals are materials that have always dazzled us. And if you didn't know, there are both good and bad metals. And the bad metals, they're really good. Metals. These are materials that we would normally consider to be simple. Simple materials with simple properties. They conduct electricity, they are shiny and bright, and they are malleable. They also tend to be structurally simple. The materials that I and my research group are working with are quite the opposite. They're complex, they're hard, they're brittle, and their transport properties are really, really bad. And this makes them very useful as thermoelectric materials. Thermoelectric materials are materials that directly convert an electrical current into a thermal gradient, or vice versa, uses a thermal gradient to create electrical power. The cooling side of thermoelectrics is quite widely used today. And we see it in the cooling of laptops, in mobile refrigerators for cars and automobiles, and in cooling plates in restaurants for milk or juice. What would be even more interesting is to use the other effect, that of converting a thermal gradient into an electrical current. It is being used today, but only in very special niche applications. Perhaps the most spectacular is in deep space probes. These are spacecraft that travel so far that the light of the sun becomes too weak to serve as a source for energy. Thermoelectric power generators are very robust and they do not need any service. This is, of course, a fantastic advantage if you're going outside the orbit of Jupiter, where service personnel is very, very difficult to come by. And then when I short-circuited the flow across the CCD... What we strive for is better efficiency in thermoelectrics, because then we may be able to go from outer space to our highways, to be able to use thermoelectric power generation in our cars, to use the waste heat in the exhaust system to feed the generator of the car's electric system is the ultimate goal for thermoelectric research. The poor thermal conduction of the thermoelectrics is the result of a disturbed or complex crystal structure. And in order to fully understand how a thermoelectric material works, we need to understand what it looks like at the atomic level. But with the new facilities that are growing in Lund today, MAX4 and ESS would give us an entirely new picture of what's going on, a deeper understanding and a much better possibility to create new, better, cheaper and more environmentally friendly thermoelectric materials. That is important for the future of us, for the future of the energy system and for the future of the environment.